Hello everybody! Welcome to another lesson by me, Miss Pythagoras. In this lesson, I will explain analytical geometry, more specifically how to work out the equation of a tangent to a circle. This is lesson 4 of 6. Have you subscribed yet? You can also visit my website, onlinemats.co.za. The link is in the comments below. There you will find all the chapters in the syllabus. Let's start with the maths. Important theory. A line which cuts the circle in two places is known as a secant. A line which touches the circumference in two places and is not the diameter is known as a chord. A tangent touches the circle in one point. A tangent to a circle is always perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. Remember, since a tangent is perpendicular to the radius, we know that the one gradient times the other gradient is equal to negative 1. In short, we can quickly calculate the gradient of the tangent. If the gradient of the radius is equal to 3, then the gradient of the tangent is minus 1 over 3. So what you do is you swap the number and you swap the sign. If the gradient of the radius is minus 1 over 5, then the gradient of the tangent is plus 5. Swap the number, swap the sign. Example 1. Determine the equation of the tangent to the circle with midpoint C minus 2, 1 and point of contact 2, 4. So what we are looking for is the equation of the tangent, therefore y is equal to mx plus c. Now where do we start? We start by working out the gradient of the radius. And we will use c and a's coordinate. And my advice to you is on top of the coordinate, write xy and xy. Then you can't make a mistake when you substitute. Therefore, the gradient of the radius, y at c is 1 minus y at a is 4 over x at c is negative 2 minus the x at a is 2. And we end with 1 minus 4 is minus 3 over minus 2 minus 2 at the bottom is minus 4 and then the gradient of the radius is 3 over 4. Then we can say that the gradient of the tangent is minus 4 over 3. Swap number, swap sign. And you have to add the reason. Tangent perpendicular radius. Now, back to y is mx plus c, the um, equation for the tangent. In m's place, now we know that the gradient of the tangent is minus 4 over 3x plus c. And then to find c, we need a coordinate, the point 2, 4 that lives on the line. Therefore, this is x, this is y. In y's place, we substitute 4. In x's place, we substitute 2. And then negative 4 over 3 times 2 is negative 8 over 3. And that can walk across. 4 plus 8 over 3 is c. And c's value is 20 over 3. Therefore, the equation of the tangent is y is minus 4 over 3x plus 20 over 3. Example 2. The circle with the equation, and then I give you the equation there, has a tangent at k, 1, 2. Calculate the equation of the tangent. 
So we are working towards y is mx plus c. Now we want to find the gradient of the radius, but we need the midpoint. And you will see that the midpoint of the circle you can find because your circle is given in the radius midpoint form. Therefore, the midpoint will be the point plus 3 plus 6 as indicated there. So now we have two coordinates and we can work out the gradient of the radius. We will use the point M and we will use the point K. M is the point 3, 6 and K is the point 1, 2 consisting of X and a Y, a X and a Y. Therefore, the Y at M is 6 minus the Y at K is 2 over the X at M is 3 minus the X at K is 1. And then we end with 6 minus 2 is 4 over 3 minus 1 is 2. Therefore, the gradient of the radius is 2. Now we need the gradient of the tangent. Therefore, the gradient of the tangent is minus 1 over 2. Swap number, swap sign. And you have to add the reason, tan perpendicular radius. Now back into y is mx plus c. We can substitute the gradient of the tangent, which is minus a half. And then to find c, we will take the point 1, 2. K's coordinate, not M, since M does not live on the tangent. X is 1, Y is 2. So in Y's place, 2 equals minus a half, and in X's place, 1 plus C. Minus a half times 1 is just minus a half. Let the minus a half walk across. 2 plus a half is C, and C's value is 5 over 2. Therefore, the equation of the tangent is y is minus half x minus 5 over 2. Example 3. The equation of a circle is, and then I give you the equation of the circle. Number 1. Prove that the point 2 minus 9 is on the circumference of the circle. Now, to prove that a point lies on a circle, you need to take the equation and split it up into a left-hand side and a right-hand side. On the left-hand side, you find x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 6y. And on the right-hand side, you find 15. Now, what you will do is you will take the point to negative 9. And in x's place, you will substitute 2. And everywhere where you see a y, you will substitute negative 9. And then, if you, the left-hand side is also 15, then we know that the point lies on the circle. Let's see. In x's place, 2 squared plus, in y's place, negative 9 squared. Minus 8 times 2 plus 6 times minus 9. 2 squared is 4 plus Minus 9 squared is 81. Minus 8 times 2 is negative 16. And 6 times minus 9 is minus 54. And when you add all of that, you end with 15. Therefore, the left-hand side is 15 and the right-hand side is 15. Then you can say that the point 2 minus 9 lies on the circle. Now there you find the equation of the circle and then question 2 says determine an equation of the tangent to the circle at point 2 minus 9. Now we have a problem here since we only have the point of contact 2 minus 9 we don't have the midpoint of the circle so now we have to work very hard. We will take the equation and we will find the midpoint by completing the square. And can you remember the steps? The first step was take the constant to the right-hand side. The second step 
is we will group together all the x's and leave a gap and group together all the y's and leave a gap. Then we will complete the square by using the little formula b over 2 squared. Where do we find b? This is the coefficient, the number in front of x, minus 8 over 2 squared. Minus 8 divided by 2 is negative 4 squared is plus 16. And then we will add 16 on the left. And what we do on the left, we do on the right. We will also add 16 there. Then it's the trinomial that we will factorize and write as a perfect square. Therefore, it's x minus 4 squared. Then we will complete the square in terms of y. So we will do b over 2 squared. b's value is plus 6. Therefore, plus 6 over 2 squared is 3 squared, which is 9. Then we add 9 on the left. We add 9 on the right. And then there is your trinomial. We will factorize and write as a perfect square. And it becomes y plus 3 squared. And then on the right hand side, we add all the numbers and we end with a 40. Now we can say that the midpoint of this circle is plus 4, negative 3. Then there's the sketch, there's your circle and your tangent. And then I just want to show you that there's your midpoint, the point 4, minus 3. And the point of contact is the point 2 minus 9. And remember, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. So in the next slide, we will continue by finding the equation of the tangent. Now to find the equation of the tangent, we are looking for y is mx plus c. And then there's the sketch. First of all, we will work out the gradient of the radius. And then there's our two coordinates. And on top of the coordinate, you write x, y, and x, y. Therefore, the y at m is negative 3 minus the y at p is bracket minus 9 over the x at m is 4 minus 2. And we end with minus 3. And here you can say a minus times a minus is plus 9. And at the bottom, the denominator, 4 minus 2 is 2. Then negative 3 plus 9 is 6 over 2. And the gradient of the radius is 3. Then the gradient of the tangent will be minus a third. Swap number, swap sign, and your reason, tan perpendicular radius. Now into y is mx plus c. We know the gradient is minus a third. And then the point that we will use to find c is 2 minus 9, consisting of a x and a y. Remember, you can't take the point M because that point doesn't live on the tangent. Now, in Y's place, minus 9 equals minus a third in X's place, 2 plus C. And then minus a third times 2 is minus 2 over 3 plus C. Let the minus 2 over 3 walk across. Minus 9 plus 2 over 3 is minus 25 over 3. And that's C's value. Therefore, the equation of the tangent is y is minus a third x minus 25 over 3. Now you know how to find the equation of a tangent to a circle. Click on the video in the right hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson. There, I will teach you important theory on circles.